Welcome everyone with the interview session of the digital marketing cell of IBS Gurgaon. Shri NJ Yashasvi, founder of Ikfail, was a pioneer in promoting higher education in India. He established 9 business schools and 11 universities. In memory of our mentor, we have we today we have with us Professor John Wogies, principal Saint Stephen College, University of Delhi. Professor Wogies delivered a commemorative lecture on the NYJ Yashasvi Memorial that inspired students to share education and learn more. Let's go on with the interview to know a few more insights. So uh, we have a few questions to ask. In the lecture that you just gave before, there were three takeaways that you mentioned that you were inspired from the life of our mentor and founder, Dr. N. J. Yashasvi. Would you please uh, like to elaborate on them? Sure. I think the first takeaway was that he managed to find out what his potential was. The second takeaway was having found his potential, he excelled at it. And the third takeaway is the fact that he had an attitude where he wanted to share that with everyone. So those are the three takeaways. Thank you so much, sir. So, not just uh, learning, but also spreading across everyone. Whatever you learn is one of learning the... well and sharing yes. it with everyone. I remember you saying that one of the major things that he had in his life was education. Yes, that was that was very important. So, sir, as an academician, what are the major highlights of education system in our country, and what reforms can be brought about to actually improve our education system? One of the nice things about our country is the diversity which we have. Whether it's the people. Whether it's the language, whether it's the culture, whether it's things like local clothing, local food, there's so much of variety in it, and I would like to see that diversity as a strength, as something which will make us even better than what we are now, and so that is something we should build on, we should take up and develop. And take forward, and that is a big, big strength, especially for young people like you, who have the whole world as your stage, as your playing field. You're not limited like my generation and the generations which were before me to a small part of the country, or maybe even the country. You have the whole world as your playing field, and this will equip all of you better. to face on multicultural situations you know and overcome challenges there so any uh, any quick tip so i i understand i also appreciate the fact that um, after coming to this college i've met a lot of people from diverse cities states and there are a lot of interaction that i did not expect and so i can totally relate with whatever you just said but how exactly can we go through this how can we use this multi uh, how can we use the diversity to actually in our favor and then how can this diversity help in education system we need to ask some basic questions what is the purpose of education the purpose of education is to make each one of us better but if we are going to go into education with a closed mind then the very purpose is defeated so we need to be clear about two things what do we want to do with our lives and how do we want to achieve it so if we have answers to those two questions and if we are open to accepting change then i think the road is clear very nice mm-hmm. so and the next question my reason for asking this is purely selfish i want to understand how successful people actually uh, deal and how and how do they drive from your from their experience and uh, since you have high regard in the education industry how do you actually push through your worst times how do you overcome those obstacles 
uh, challenges that you don't know answers to, challenges that are right in front of you, and those uh, breakthrough moments. How have, because breakthrough and challenges, they actually shape you. So how do you really work across that? Some, a few tips that we could take and imbibe in our lives, that would be really great. Sure, I'm happy to share with you some things. Uh, successful people learn from their failures. And everybody has failure in their lives. But the successful ones are able to look back on their failures, learn from it, and move forward. Everyone has something unique in them. Everyone. Each and every one. The trick is to find out what we are good at and to see whether our goals and objectives, our career growth trajectory is in sync with that objective. And the third and most important thing is we should be humble enough to understand that there is a God who is guiding us and he will guide us only for our better future prospects. So even if we face challenges or maybe even failure, we should understand that there is a brighter future waiting for us because we are all safe in God's big plan for each one of us. That's true. So the final question. So a lot of in, a lot of professors from our college are inspired by your lecture. A few tips that you would like to uh, give our professors so that they, that they could impart and imbibe in their own lives and in the lives of their students. As you said before, the most important thing for a teacher, a professor, is their students. My talk was not so much for the professors. It was for the young people, young people like all of you. Uh, so. I don't want to give anything to my colleagues. In fact, I'll be happy to learn some things from my colleagues. And though they are from a different institution, you know, I consider them my colleagues. So I'm not sure I can give them anything. 